For a club in the third tier of English football, Portsmouth are gigantic and need to rise soon. They've been trapped in that league some time despite being FA Cup winners, League Cup winners, and today I finally cracked. I can't stand to see it no longer, so we've gone ahead and put myself in charge. I am going to try and take Portsmouth up to the promised land of the Premier League again and Champions League if we're lucky enough. And do you guys want kits like this one, this one, or even this one. If you do, make sure to check out Soccer Deal Shop. Link in the description. Cheap and affordable replica kits. And if you use MWS in the promo code checkout, you get yourselves 10% off. As I'm excited for this one, it's rebuilding a big club and we need a play style, so we're going tiki taka. And I'm excited to see the team that we'll have. And to be fair, it's not bad at all. Some strong players in that starting 11. And also on the bench, I've got to mention Riley T from when I've seen this man in real life, in person. He has been a rock. As looking overall at the ratings in this squad and Denver Hume, what are you doing here? Obviously the squads haven't updated yet because he's a Mariner playing for Grimsby Town. And these are overall the best players that we have at the club. As you can see, striker Colby Bishop. We've had luck with him before. Same with Reagan Paul and I think Norris. As we've got two million after coaches, not too bad, not too good, but not too bad. The reason I say it's not too good actually is because I expect first season promotion. And that team as it is probably doesn't cut it. So without further ado, we're gonna change it up and see the best lineup we can come up with as changing it up. And yes, this formation may be puzzling, but I actually don't mind it. It fits every player into their position and we do have a lot of center mids and it makes it obvious where we need to strengthen as well to me. We need another left mid, if not to replace Scully to sit behind him on that bench as do we get one through our academy i mean we've got two left wingers but none of them really good carter walsh and carter hale two carters who will be shipped on a cart out on loan yeah they're not gonna get into my team at all but two millions enough to find a player that may and i believe we've got our man in straight off the bat and don't get me wrong it's cost quite a bit of money. Not actually overall, but in terms of our budget, as Samuel Silvera from Borough. And that means he's in the team. So without further ado, with that team on paper, can we put up a promotion push? We'll have to see how good we are as we start with Burton, the Brewers. Can we be the team, though, to brew something up at the start of this year? A very solid team on paper from us, but it doesn't matter how solid it is if it doesn't get results. Oh my days. Burton Albion walk away with all the points. Josh Gordon with a goal. Tino and her in with the only one for us. And when we cut the season in half, we welcome you back at the Papa John's. Oh, sorry, Bristol Street Motors. As we've gone through, you can see the team below us though, Grimsby, they're also through. Let's look at that group. We've got the Mariners, second place, and then Lincoln City. Wow, wow. Absolutely love to see that, you know, as a Grimsby fan, but don't like to see this as a Portsmouth manager. Only six defeats, but 12 draws has us in ninth position in League One. Now that is absolutely insane and not in a good way. As you can see in round three of the FA Cup, we've got an away game to Blackburn, but in the Carabao Cup, we were beaten in round four by Manchester City. Now that's what you expect, but I don't expect us to finish ninth. As come on, this team is better than that. We've got Rafferty there, but we've trained him to a center back. I'll flick that switch in a moment, but We've lost our lone lads. I believe that was Robertson and Tino Anherin, but we've still got the quality here already. Oh, and thank you. Thank you. We have somehow recovered playoff football. Fratton Park will host Peterborough in the first leg, whilst Blackpool are at home to Charlton. How did it finish in the league, my stew? Oh my days, we did it by two goals. Now that must have been a good run of form. Wow, yes, you can see. 
We did pretty well. In fact, I'm sure I saw a neutral cup game somewhere. It wasn't the FA Cup. We were out to Blackburn because I could see they'd gone through as it was the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. And we won it. Finally, even if we don't get promoted, which I want us to do, the first time I can ever use that graphic, get it on the screen because we have never won this competition. Absolutely love it. Love the lads for doing that. Although, seems like they don't love the formation, maybe? Lowry not getting played. Rafferty's changed to a centre-back. Still, though, he doesn't enjoy it, and maybe not the time for it, but just YOLO. We'll change the formation to this, a flat back four. With playoffs unpredictable and posh unpredictable, we've got to try and seize our team up. But it's a first leg defeat, and now we've got to travel to their stadium, where we do it in style. Oh my days! Now where has that come from? 4-1 their place. I didn't expect that as the final Charlton Athletic Wembley Stadium beckons. This is going to be interesting. Two good teams in this division as we've done it. Not only the Bristol Street Motors Trophy, but the playoff one as well. Somehow, just somehow, Portsmouth have gone and snatched a 2-1 win despite only just getting in the playoffs in the first place. And with the manner that we just got promoted and the quality of this division, you know we're only aiming to stay up. We've got the likes of Burnley, Leeds, Luton and Wolves. Have we been gifted a hefty budget to help us though? I mean, 10 million pounds. Not bad for a newly promoted Pompey. I mean, we'll have to set the team and set the contracts. As we've lost Marlon Pack as well, the captain, he was over the age of 30, so I didn't mind letting him go. But it seems like this formation worked wonders for us last year, so a CDM and maybe another keeper. As it's worth mentioning as well, we do have our loan players back. Carter Walsh, not bad for a loan deal. And also Carter Hale, he's not done too bad, not grown as well. But we've got time to go. As this season in the championship, oh, ho, ho, we've got some good players. Alfie Fisher, a keeper I can be excited about. But most of all, Noah Ball. Just before we promote him, we'll train him as a centre-back. But you can guess, he's getting in our team. I mean, probably a loan deal before he gets in the actual starting eleven with 9 million left. And yes, that's after contracts. Not everyone signed up, but I don't care. Because we're going to replace them with that money. As the first signing we've made here, we've been cheap. Or not, not cheap, very cheap. We've gone ahead and got an ex-Leeds youngster, Noah Kenny, for less than a mil. Almost actually half a mil. But the next one, more expensive and better. Welcome to the club from the Colombian League, Lucas Agassi. Now he looks perfect. Costing two million, but honestly works his way in and can play right back, right wing. And right mid. And our scouting this season has been a joke. And not a joke because Patrick Dog, who's the next one. I'll show you his rating very shortly. But honestly, we've gone ahead and got another Uruguayan wonder kid. And I mean wonder kid, Randall Rodriguez. That's all our money gone. Put honestly, Dogu, Rodriguez, Agassi as them three. Make the team a lot stronger. Not on paper, but they are much younger than their counterparts. And they've also wiped the budget. So a lot of faith in youth in the championship season. Hopefully not too much of a gamble as Burnley we start with. Brexit Burnley, maybe? If they've got relegated, maybe companies got sacked and a 1-1 draw, I'll fully take. And how are we doing after that first draw? I mean, we're on the lower side, but we're still very clear. It's Derby County, Chef Wednesday and Bolton all in the relegation zone. And to be fair, I think we'll stick there, or at least we won't go there because we're 10 points clear. Very good, Pompey. As any other look, we've got Bournemouth. A bit of a rivalry in the FA Cup, I guess. South Coast teams is in the Carabao Cup, beaten in round one by Carlisle comfortably. That is not what we should be about. As you can see, the team's improving and my days. The players we brought in, look at them. Rodriguez now 72 overall. Dogu the same. And he's what? 20? Noah Kenny getting some growth. Agassi as well, but one shocking one. 
is Colby Bishop. Has he been getting goals? Because his rating's flying up and he's got 12 goals. So really, he is our saviour. But in half the games, Anthony Scully with six. Now, I don't really like the guy with his ex-Lincoln links. But it seems he's doing well as our lone boys we've loaned out. We've got Freddie Bishop, okay. Fisher, all right. But Noah Bull at Bradford changed his position round 64 rated. We'll see if he can do more. And it's an alright finish, 18th place. I think the damage was already done to them teams below us. Or maybe not, because Derby County got themselves out of the mess, but the other teams didn't. It's a matter of teams being worse than us this year, but next year we need to be up there, because looking at that table, Leeds and Wolves absolutely flew away with it. Same with Burnley. And hopefully they're promoted. Get rid of them for next season. Hopefully helps us. As we didn't help ourselves in the FA Cup third round. A defeat to Bournemouth. So there's your playoff promotion final. We've actually skipped a little too far into the future. Oh well, doesn't do us damage. As you can see our team. That team's got a bit of damage. Some unhappy players. But I guess that's kind of good. Because it shows that the lads... Just want to go further. As how far have we gone in ratings in this squad? I mean, Lucas Agazi, he's only been here one season. And he's got a plus eight. Regan Paul as well, plus four. Good central defender. And our lone lads, you can see Bishop's not done too well. Fisher a 60 rated, Bull a 66. And we loaned out Carter Walsh again last season. And 67 rated could put him on the bench. As a thoroughly enjoyable first two seasons, I've got to admit, I've really liked how much we've done. As first things first, before we even look at the squad, I've took two players out to put two youth on the bench. Carter Walsh still has half a season out on loan, and the main player we need to replace is Lafferty. Or Rafferty, I'm saying that because I'm looking at Lowry, because he might have to go on same with Moral. Most of our OG players just not cutting the mustard. As you can see, 8 million, less than last year. But still not as much improvement needed as last year. As that team, with a few tweaks, could be pushing playoffs. And, um, well, the finances are actually a lot more stretched than I initially anticipated. Because we've signed this man, Antoine Mendy, for 4 million. And we've only got a bit left. I mean, we've gone ahead and fixed the position that needed fixing. But now I've got to choose between centre mid or academy. As actually, maybe not, because I might just go for a cheaper scout and spend three million to get a quality player in. As I just want to keep going with this academy, I mean, why slow down when you're getting such good players? Like Jude Skinner, who honestly could again just sit on our bench. And after some more excellent scouting, I've got to say, we finally have the extra midfielder who goes by the name of Kean Fitz Jim. And honestly, you'll like this joke. Kean fits in into our midfield ahead of Lowry for the season. The season that starts with Derby, a relegation fighting team last year. So if we had to push on ourselves, we need to be beating Derby, but again, we don't. Agazi and Bishop with our goals, it shows it's a tacky defense. Now defense is weak. <laughs> and it's a good job I can't get sacked in these rebuilds because it's quite frankly embarrassing. Yes, it's the same position as last year, but 15th Pompey, come on, play up. We should be doing a lot better than that table suggests as Wigan in the FA Cup. Can we get a run there? I mean, it wouldn't make up for it as also we're out of the Carabao Cup final. Really disappointing. As also, I just want to stop and say I got the Chelsea kit on in support of Chelsea who play in the Carabao Cup final today as I'm recording this and you can see the team is actually improving. Not as much as before, my stew, but the likes of Igazi and the likes of Dorgu. Even Noah Kenny's putting a shift in, but overall, well, we shouldn't be 15. It's got me thinking, do I recall just some of these youngsters to shove in the squad? I mean, the season's basically over with Jude Skinner right there. We should have Walsh. He could be promoted and that is it. They're the only players who've got out on loan. I'm bringing Walsh back. We didn't have enough to make a signing money-wise, but we did have enough to bring him back. And after a big second half of the season, we have moved in the league 
to 14th. Yeah, we've jumped up one place. A mid-table side, absolutely nothing to play for, which should not be the case. As next season, hopefully, with a bit of gifted money, we could be up there with the likes of... Burnley and Luton, who seem to never be able to grasp promotion, although I've said that, checked the cup and Burnley have won the playoffs. Just don't lose on penalties as we lose in the FA Cup somewhere, I mean, we were out early on, no luck in that one and no luck in the Carabao, which eventually was won by Arsenal. And I've got to say, not much improvement second half of the season, a very tired and just down-looking team. A bit of stunt in the growth I saw of Noah Kenny, but look at the ratings, man. The majority of these young players, like Lucas Agassi, 21, 80 rated. If we don't step it up next year, he's gone alongside Colby Bishop, who is 29, but 17 goals. It's too good, really, to be sat 14th in the championship when those Prem teams are knocking. Right, so now, season number four is it. 11 million, the biggest budget. To date, that is. And a lot of players out of contract. I mean, they're going to want wage increases as well. But with the way we're playing, I don't want to offer them. What I want to do is a bit more structured. I want to sign a centre-back mostly and maybe a DM, but maybe even change in formation. Maybe we could get a cam or just a centre-mid sit in that middle. Depends who we scout, but on the topic of scouting, I want to get rid of the majority of these players. And that is because I want to replace them with youth players, not loan them out, just have them in the reserves, and make a bit more money because we know for sure that these contracts are going to take up most money. As how's our academy look? After hyping it up, we've got a few 50 rateds and these are the players I want. Sure, a lot in our reserves are actually over 50, but still, their age is almost 50 as well. As contracts done, players in and 10 million pounds to operate with. As I'm very excited, but also gutted for this man, because I am spending that cash on a centre half. As before everything though, I don't know how, but we found a class player. And yes, he's a free agent, but Sebastian the Nassi. Now, you guys have told me about this one. We've got quite a few wingers, yes, but this man released from Liverpool. Great stats, can play left, right or cam, which we could use in this formation. This new one that we've gone for, I meant to say, as yep, there we go, behind Bishop. As after clearing a few players out, we've gone ahead and got another midfielder, and then the centre-back. As this will wrap the window up as Yayo, he comes across from Wigan, young player. He's that centre-mid as Moyes Ali is our centre-back, costing a record-breaking 6.8 mil. I don't know if that's overall record-breaking, but definitely for us as he is brilliant six foot seven the man is huge as he comes across to play right center back and improves the team which looks very good oh man as well and we started with derby last year this year Leeds United a tasty game a very tasty game to start off with and we somehow still find a way to lose but overall I'm not too heartbroken because they're gonna be the team hopefully challenging us at the top. And it's still a state of confusion I'm left in after half a season here with Pompey because we're sat in fifth position, which is the playoffs and comfortably so, seven points in them. But when I take you to look at this team sheet, honestly, just tell me your opinions because I think we should be higher than this. We should be we should be maybe fighting for a record championship season. I mean, change Morel out, we've got a rating lower, but Yayo is like seven years younger. And look in the reserves as well, we've got Noah Kenny now, who is trained as a centre mid. Such a classy team and a classy attack because we've got 80 rated. As also Nanasi's an 80 rated, changes his position round, plus he's had some good form as well. I mean, three 80s overall, unbelievable stuff, and Noah Ball on loan at Cardiff. Not a great average rating for matches, but 74 rated. He could come back. It's honestly fantastic. All the stuff off the field. Three million to spend. Don't want to spend it. As I just feel, we can be a lot higher than that. So I'll leave it and see what end of the season brings. Oh my days. I mean, look at that. Look at that. For an end of the season, 
with Pompey in the championship. Brilliant ratings, right? We should be up there, right? Well, no, because we are still in the playoffs. And that's where we'll finish. We put up a good fight, but Leicester and Leeds run away with it, like IRL. I mean, the rival Southampton fell out, a bit to be happy about, and we play West Brom, who were bottom of the playoffs. Then again, we won the playoffs, finishing bottom of them when we got promoted to this league. Let's look at goals. Agazi 84, Nanasi 81. Them two contributing double digits in both goals and assists as we've got to somehow just keep our heads for these playoffs we should be beating West Bromwich Albion but obviously we don't a second leg I don't believe this I don't believe this how are we in the championship 96 points we finish with 96 points and we are not promoted we lost six games six games and we have that squad which honestly to me finishes conference league in the premier league so yes yeah, somehow just somehow we've got to go again with this squad in the championship. And I'm no fool. I know potential on our best players will be getting slightly nerfed by this. The likes of Agazi, Ali and Dorgu. The brilliant players and probably will want to leave. I'm going to do my best to try and keep them here as 22 million. 22 million! Almost a Prem budget as well. As honestly, I mean, we could just sign some bench players. And another centre mid. Or maybe a left winger. It hasn't worked out for Silvera as much as I was really hoping for. As we do have a lot of players back from loan deals as well. Including Noah Bull who goes straight on that bench. And we're going to probably stop the academy just for a little bit. As 22 million's got to go on a quality player. As I've gone ahead with my signature and signed from a rival. But he's a good player. The only one I could really think of is Hannibal Meshbury to be a bit more attacking. In that centre spot, of course, as he's not 80 rated, but we want dragging an 80 to the championship. So a minor improvement, but still, I mean, we could sign for more bench players. But I'm not going to do that. We could actually sell this man right here and Noah Kenny. But again, I don't know what I'm going to do for the remainder. We don't need any more players. And don't need the money. I mean, if we keep them in the reserves and sell them in the Prem, if we get to the Prem, that is, we, they'll have more money then. As Birmingham the first challenge, and we've got to be beating them. Come on, lads. No mistakes, please. That is what we needed. 4-1 in the sim. Bishop with the double. Or maybe a hat-trick. Get in there, Colby, for an old player as well. We need to keep this up, though. And win the goddamn league. Oh my days. And if we're not top of the league, if we're not top of the league with that team, I mean, I, I don't know what I can do. I already see the position. We are fourth in the playoffs. Now, this is disgusting. Coventry above us and the rivals. Yes, there's one point in it, but Burnley have sailed away with the league and that shouldn't be happening. Then again, though, there's Everton in this division who... Our seventh place. But let's be real, shall we? They don't have a better squad than us. That team there is a Europa League winning one. There, I've gone ahead and said it. I mean, we've got everyone signed up on contracts. No one is leaving. We're getting out of this mess. Even Randall Rodriguez, who's handed a transfer request in, don't like that cheekiness, mate, as scorers. Colby Bishop, now 31 with 17. And Nanasi, what a signing. 10 goals, 5 assists. And... Finally, finally, the hoodoo is over. Pump the arrow. I mean, what's it took? Four seasons in this division? Four long seasons as this year. We actually didn't do as well as last year. 93 points. I'm sure we had 96 last. Do I care though? Absolutely not. As in the FA Cup, we were frankly hammered. We keep getting Manchester City and getting beat by them as Coventry City beat us in the Carabao. And finally, we're done beating ourselves in this division as Pompey are up, but look at the state of this. A lot of angry people and angry players even in the team, the likes of Fitz Jim. They'll probably all want to leave, but honestly, if we pull together in the Prem, we could do damage. And I like this board. I like the board because the money they've given us for season one in the Prem, 74 million. And honestly, if they would have given me 10 million, 
I would have been grateful. Because honestly, what do we need to improve with this team? I think the way to go, though, is selling Silvera and maybe selling Rodriguez and getting better players in their position. Also, we can sell Noah Kenny now and I think it's Shorgancy for a bit of cash and get in a left back for the bench alongside maybe a backup keeper for a good cup run. Depends really, because we might not have much money after we sign contracts in this Premier League season. Let's go on, let's see it. Let's see the damage it's done. A lot of money going into those contracts, but still damage sorted out because the sale of these three has made us some dollar. Or sterling, we're using sterling. It's pound coins as 147 million is what Pompey have. And of course we need a keeper and a winger alongside bench players to get up and running. As here we go, first player in a goalkeeper and one we faced in the championship last year. For only 10 million, we've got Bayern Deer, but don't worry, he's only the backup. As the first choice, moments away, as we've got a winger in, it is Arsene Zakarian. Similar name to Hendrik Mikatarian, but that said, it's a lot easier to say. As finally, here is our goalkeeper. We want another left back for the bench, but this man was priority. As welcome to the club, Ricardo Borges. He can grow to be better than Rodriguez was. And that's the team set, I think. Very good attack and very good defense. I want a good season now. And wow, we've actually got more left in the budget than I expected with 54 million. Has been off the left back. Let's get quality Arnie Engels for the midfield. As that's us complete and that is us ready for this first game of the season against Arsenal. Be a good test of this to see where our squad's at as it's been in the championship, now in the Premier League. A 3-1 defeat, although we've improved, we're still not good enough to beat the big gunners. Still though, we need to be gunning for a good finish. Cos Pompey now have a good squad. And halfway through this Premier League season, I mean, I said we were Champions League quality, or Europa League quality, sorry, and we're only four points off Champions League. It's not really that bad. I mean, I expected us to be clear of relegation, as in the FA Cup, Burnley, big tester. A team we struggled with last season, as we've struggled with Barnsley in the Carabao Cup. Of course, John McAtee must have done well against us, one of my favourite players, as this team may be one of my favourites in terms of having young players, but definitely not in terms of position. And end of the season. I mean, look at the ratings. Just look at the ratings of Pompey. This is absolutely outrageous how good we've got, even on the bench. I trained Noah Bull as a left back. It took his rating, I think, up one. Then he's gone up one by playing or playing a little bit. Same with Skinner, who aren't fit. But honestly, we are so good on paper. Of course, football not played on paper, though. And we did do our objectives. Champions League football. Now, usually it's a surprise when you get it in your first season in the Prem. But honestly, with the team we had, kind of a necessity. We'd been lagging behind for quite a while in that championship when we knew we had the quality to undoubtedly be above it. And the sleeping giant of football is awakening. Same with Colby Bishop with 20 goals. Love it from him, but don't love that we were beaten by Millwall in the quarterfinals. That's of the FA Cup, as of course we were out of the Carabao. And now on to next season. And I've got to start by saying, even though we're just in the Prem, I have no idea what player to sign. As I did make one mistake, actually, Shaughnessy. On the bench, I didn't give a contract, so we're trying to sell him. Turns out no offers flew in, so we've got to probably sign a centre-back, number one. And then in the team, maybe a centre-mid, but honestly, that's pushing the boat out, because I'm happy with Hannibal. And how much are we given? I mean, 130 million. Maybe we could sell a big player to bring a big player in, but no rush to do that. Honestly, no rush at all. I cannot believe how good Reagan Paul's got as well. An OG in the squad, but at 31 year old, will he make the UCL final when we make it? Because honestly, I want him lifting that trophy and hence why I'm not going to be signing a starting centre back. As instead, we've got this man for the bench, Valadolid's relegated man. 
Board not happy with that one. But I'm not too peeved off with it. Maybe because I signed him on his release clause. Flavian Enzo Bayomo, of course, from Valladolid. Like I just said, and that completes the bench. Honestly, now we just need to somehow maybe squeeze a big player. And actually, in order to sign the big player I want to sign, it's required the sale. Hannibal Mejbri, who I spoke I was satisfied on. He's not as good as the man I'm going to bring in. And that is this man. You already can tell from the look of him. Coming to Pompey from Juventus. It is the one and only Pedri. A man who needs to get a bit of Premier League football. Look at that. 92 rated at 26. He fits into the team like a glove and adds another 90 rated to our roster, as that honestly might be it as well, guys, because we've only got 22 million left. No Champions League quality players out there for that amount, I wouldn't think. And we need to prove how good we can be in this first game against Fulham. I mean, it's not a Champions League game, but still it is huge in terms of the Champions League or Premier League. As Agazi is injured, that's 190 rated down, but still we are up. Courtesy of Pedri, great victory to start the season off with as you know, we signed Pedri from Juventus and they're going to say hello again as we play them in the Champions League with Monaco and Galatasaray. And for once, this has me actually feeling we haven't done well in the Champions League because we're actually up there in the table. Yes, we're probably not top as West Ham are top and that is a shock with how good our team is. I mean, look at it. We've got some 90 rated now and a lot of 89s. Still quite a weak bench and quite a weak goalkeeper because Borges picked up an injury and it looks like a crucial one. How long's he out for? Eight days. All right, that's okay without our Portuguese shot stopper. As Arsene is top scorer, 10 goals for him and Zaghi on the other side with Eight. Not too bad, if you ask me, as not too bad in the Champions League. Valencia, the team that we've drawn, and you know, I wouldn't mind playing them. This could be interesting. I mean, straight into it, like, because of course we don't need or can't afford any more signings. Just need to play our game and hope for the best against Valencia, as we are 1 0 in front. Get in there. What I am hoping for, as. In the second game. Wow, okay, that was not expected. I mean, 14 13? Everyone scoring the penalties. That was mental. As what is mental is the teams left in this competition. Let's study this. We play City. If we beat City, I mean, Leverkusen and Madrid, only huge teams there. No offense to the rest of the teams, obviously, that are here as. We are beating the Citizens. Nanasi with the needed goal, as that is what we needed. Second leg, Nanasi and Bishop again. Sees Pompey through, and Pompey have Wolfsburg in the semi finals. As looking at them, oh my days, look at the teams that are here. Strasbourg and Feyenoord. Haven't seen this in a long while since we beat Celtic in a final, as of course we do beat Wolfsburg. Leg number one is still there. Is a second leg. They get a draw, but obviously Skinner sends us through. Our youth player as after all of this. It's going to be Pompey versus Strasbourg in a UCL final. And no, this is not the Conference League. It is the UCL as in the league. We'd be in the Europa League next season if we lose this. It's all about getting the best out of this absolutely stacked squad against Strasbourg. As we've gone ahead and pumped the difficulty back up as hopefully we could give Strasbourg a pump in here. Not that I want to underestimate the French side, but come on Pompey. Get it over the line. And another thing I want to mention as we kick off in this game. Oh, dodgy pass. Is we've got two OGs in this squad. Both Reagan Paul, the captain, and Colby Bishop, our striker. Still all the way from League One. In our team as we'll get this ball around the corner. And Arson crossing towards Colby. Almost an early chance there. Almost ball squeezed through as we'll take the corner. Azagi, it's a header. And Mendy misses first. A very close chance as Strasbourg got my days. They're not going to give up. I mean, to be fair, I don't expect them to. Only 15 minutes in, but I thought we'd be 
A bit more dominant than this. I mean, the forced bishop out wide and made a good tackle. Come on, lads, we're better than this. We are so much better than this. As Ali got the ball and... Oh, my days. No way. No way is this Colby Bishop. Our main striker, as I mean... I've got to look at Agassi. Comparing him to Saidi, who is on the bench. He's got better stats overall. Agassi's going up front. An unwanted shuffle round, but still I've got faith with now Pedri and Cam. Can that be good? Let's hope so anyway. There's also Nanasi going out on that wing as we've got the ball in the middle. Good run from Arsene onto Agassi round the corner. Engels cutting inside. It is Engels! It is a class save as well from, I believe that was Desplanches. That's a header one. Third time to charm with these corner kicks. We've done well from them as that that one's past the keeper. This Blanches, somehow, we're not scoring from the corners. Despite the brilliant delivery, not making the most of them as here he goes. Nanasi, he's round his man. He's got a Ghazi in the middle. Here he goes. It's still Nanasi. Still Nanasi. He's going to pull it back and shoot himself. Not a great decision made and not a great first half as Pedri goes from range. And never mind that comment. I retract it. Take it out of my mouth as Pedri... Wow, what a finish from the player now in attacking midfield and our number eight with an impossible strike. Honestly, look at that. This Blanche's no chance and after being very stuck in this game, we're going to be 1-0 up. And what a time to get it against Strausborg who have put up a fight. Honestly, their defense has stood strong, but when you give Pedri room at the edge of the box... You're getting punished. Still, after everything, we've got to go again and... Fair enough. Red card straight away. Joseph Ibrahim with a tackle that, yep, swipes Pedri. They know how dangerous he is. And now they've put themselves in a bit of danger as well as Mendy delivering a ball. Intercepted by Pedri himself and Nanasi around the side. We need a second and what a tackle that is from the... Left back Perrin. Although they've got a man sent off, they'll keep playing an alley. What a centre back. His tackle's even reached to Garza, who put a bit of effort in to get on the end of this. It's a good run from our Portuguese or Uruguayan Agassi. Mess the nationality up, but he didn't mess the finish. Incredibly dangerous play from him, and I'll tell you why. They look to be a man across the box. Yeah, Pedri at the side of him making that run. It was an easy sweaty. But he was greedy, our Uruguayan now up front and Strasbourg now up or the cosh. Or under the cosh, I think that's the saying anyway. Never mind that, I'm not here to make riddles. I'm here to revive teams and make dreams come true as Ali, that's a good block. And there was potential for a foul there. Still, we got away with it. Don't let them cut inside, get the tackle in again, Ali. As he did, and he's man of the match. He's clearly man of the match, although he's rounded there and a chance. Credit to Strausborg. They're not giving up and ahead of one. Still, they should run out of time and the ball whipped in that time. Fitz Jim with the header. We've just got to shoot with a Ghazi and we'll never know if it truly went in because the referee has brought things to a halt and that means that Pompey, the sleeping giant, have awoken to their full potential and gone ahead to win the Champions League. What a build this has been and what an incredible story as I believe, of course, Reagan Poole's gonna lift it. The best man for the job, although he's ex-Lincoln City, I'll excuse it for this one game only as he's got both hands on it. Blue and white, best colours after black and white as there it is in the sky. An unbelievable achievement to bring back a sleeping giant. If you've got any more, suggest them down below.